How does your penis change as you age? What about bent, or curved penis when erect? Like everything in nature, your penis goes through a series of changes over your lifetime. Each phase is controlled mostly by your testosterone levels. Somewhere between the ages of 9 and 15, your pituitary gland releases hormones that tell your body to start making testosterone. Puberty begins and brings changes. Your testes, testicles, scrotum, penis, and pubic hair all begin to grow. Testosterone levels peak in your late teens to early 20s. The amount of testosterone in your body may drop slightly in your late 20s through your 40s, but the change is minimal. After 40, your total levels may drop only a small amount. But your body slowly begins to make more of a protein called sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG. This sticks to the testosterone in your blood and lowers the amount your body has available to use. As testosterone levels fall, you'll notice other changes, to your pubic hair, like the hair on the rest of your body, it will thin and may turn gray. Penis size, you may notice that it doesn't seem as large as it used to. The actual size probably hasn't changed at all. But if you have more fat on the pubic bone just above your penis, that area can sag and make it look smaller. Penis shape, for a small number of men, it may curve with age. This can affect its length, girth, and function. The condition, called Peyronie's disease, is caused by physical trauma usually because the shaft gets bent during sex. As it heals, scar tissue forms along the tunica albuginea a tough sheath around the spongy tissue that fills with blood to create an erection. The scarred portion can't expand, causing a curved erection. The condition can often be corrected surgically or treated with medications. Testicles, the small organs inside your scrotum mostly exist to make sperm. As your testosterone levels fall, sperm production slows and they shrink. If you get hormone replacement therapy, your pituitary gland will stop sending signals to your testes to make testosterone, and they will shrink more. Scrotum, its job is to manage the temperature of your testes. It's lined with smooth muscle that contracts and relaxes to pull your testicles close to your body to keep them warm or let them drop away and cool off. As you get older, the muscles don't work as well, and your scrotum stays in a more slackened position. Combine that with your skin's natural decline in elasticity, and the sagging gets worse. If you're over 40, a hydroseal can also make your scrotum sag. It happens when fluid builds up around one or both testicles. Maybe your body makes too much liquid, or perhaps it can't drain well. It's generally painless. If you notice swelling or feel any discomfort, see your doctor. Penis function the nerves in your penis get less sensitive as you age. This can lead to trouble with arousal and having an orgasm. As testosterone levels drop, erectile dysfunction becomes more likely. You may lose rigidity, but not necessarily your ability to have intercourse. Perhaps the most common culprit is the body's inability to hold blood in the penis. When this happens, you may be able to get an erection but not keep it. Blood flows in, but the aging muscle that surrounds your erectile tissue can't hold it there. The result, lost hardness. Changes in your sex organs and sexuality are a normal part of aging. Talk to your doctor if age-related changes are affecting your life and relationships. Effective treatment is available. What is Peyronie's disease? Peyronie's, pronounced Peyronie's, disease is caused by a plaque under the skin of the penis that results in a bent, or curved penis when erect. A Peyronie's plaque may result from injury to the penis and slash or genetic factors, however, the exact cause of Peyronie's disease is unknown. Peyronie's disease is unlikely to go away on its own, and may get worse over time. That's why speaking to your HCP about it is so important. How common is Peyronie's disease? 3% 9% of adult males, worldwide, are estimated to have Peyronie's disease, but because of the embarrassment involved, many men may not ask their HCPs about it. While Peyronie's disease occurs more often in men between 40 and 70 years old, it can occur at any adult age. Some patients with Peyronie's disease may think that it's erectile dysfunction, 
however, Peyronie's disease is different. Zioflex registered trademark is the only FDA approved treatment for appropriate patients with Peyronie's disease. Zioflex registered trademark is the only treatment approved by the FDA to help treat Peyronie's disease in adult men who have a plaque that can be felt in a curve in their penis greater than 30 degrees when treatment is started. Prescription Zioflex registered trademark is injected into the scar tissue or Peyronie's plaque. Zioflex registered trademark works to help weaken and break down the plaque. This along with gentle stretching and straightening activities, can help to straighten the curve in the erect penis caused by Peyronie's disease. Results from two large clinical studies for Zioflex registered trademark. Men received either up to four treatment cycles of Zioflex registered trademark with penile modeling, or placebo injection with penile modeling asterisk, and then were observed until 52 weeks. The goal of two large clinical studies involving more than 500 patients was to measure the change in erectile curvature from the beginning of the study to week 52. Measure the change in the bother domain score from the beginning of the study to week 52. Evaluate safety. Improvement in erectile curvature. In the first study, men who received Zioflex registered trademark and penile modeling had an average change in their erectile curvature from the beginning of the study to week 52 of 35%, compared with 18% in men who had placebo injection and penile modeling alone asterisk. In the second study, men who received Zioflex registered trademark and penile modeling had an average change in their erectile curvature from the beginning of the study to week 52 of 33%, compared with 22% in men who had placebo injection and penile modeling alone asterisk.